Welcome to my blog Dot Stamp with Elaine YouTube channel and welcome to the third in my October Fright Friday series featuring Halloween themed projects. I'm really excited about these syringe pens. Um, they arrived in the post today and I thought they would be just something a little bit different um, to put as a treat bag for the kids. I sourced these from Amazon Marketplace and um, um, they came like this with some spare refills. So I took the syringe pens out, the spare refills in these bags, so that I could include them in the gift packaging. I used the Sparkly Seasons bundle, the stamp set is a photo polymer stamp set and it has a coordinating framelits die with um, the letter spooky can't read that grateful snow and falala -la. there's an ornament topper and I don't know what that is Oh, it's a little flower. I also use the gorgeous Grunge stamp set. This is such a useful set. It can be used for anything and it was just right for these blood spatters on the card. You need some scraps of Tangelo Twist, basic black and I think I'll try the black glimmer paper to uh, cut my spooky letter out and see which you prefer. You need the real red ink, the tuxedo black memento, basic ink. black cardstock, designer series paper, I use the happy haunting ones and whisper white and some 4 by 6 cello bags, your simply scoring tool and of course your big shot and the magnetic platform. First I'm going to stamp on my Whisper white cardstock. <clears throat> this has been cut at six and a quarter inches by two inches, which is 15.9 centimeters by five centimeters. Then I bring my scoreboard in and score at one and a half inches, two and a quarter inches, and three inches. And in centimetres, that's 3.9, 5.7 and 7.7 .7 centimetres. So with the short side on, on the left, I want to do the one and a half inch score line as a valley fold, the next score line as a mountain fold, and the three inch score line as a valley fold. Take my half inch circle punch and just by eye centre that on the cardstock and you know it's centred because then you've got sort of equidistance between um, the edge of the punch. Glue the inside so the fast fuse, glue the centre panel together and that creates a stand somewhere for you to thread your syringe pen through. Turn the cardstock over and just apply a bit of fast fuse. Then you need to mat this piece onto your black cardstock mat which has been cut at five inches by two and a quarter inches, so in centimetres that's 12.7 by 5.7 centimetres. Grab your syringe pen and pop it through the hole. Pop it into your cello bag. This is four by six inches and pop the spare refill on the side and you're ready to put the topper on. So for the topper I've cut 
this from the Happy Haunting 12 by 12 inch DSP papers and this is 4 inches by 3 inches and in centimetres that's 10.2 by 7.7 .7. so just fold that in half and grab your stapler if you haven't got a stapler this is a wonderful tool it's the best stapler I've ever used in my whole life uh, just pop that on the top and staple these together if you're ordering the, this stapler don't forget to order the staples as well now I need some Tangelo twist and I've mounted the stamps on an e-block and I've mounted the base of the globe right at the bottom and the globe and the Halloween pumpkin face in the middle. Beauty of photopolymer stamps is that you can mount all your stamps on one block and stamp at the same time. So because it's photopolymer I'll need to stamp it on a sponge base so I'm using my piercing mat and then some grid paper and Tangelo twist cardstock and using memento black ink then I'll bring my magnetic platform in this is the base cutting plate place my cardstock on top and the die for the globe and I'll fussy cut the base of the globe but you need the to cut the whole circle so that you've got something to adhere to the base of the globe then top cutting plate and I'll run it through the big shot off camera so here are the pieces cut so I only want to put fast views on the bottom edge of the base because I want to leave that free so I can tuck that underneath okay so I'll glue that adhere that to my topper first and then glue on the bottom oops glue on the bottom of the circle and then I can tuck that in behind the final thing to do is to cut a spooky letter out of glimmer paper and I'll make my sandwich just as I did before with the cutting plate so here's my nice shiny letters cut out and I need a fine tipped glue pen to attach this to just hold it down so that it doesn't slip and there it is finished so I hope you've enjoyed today's offering. Do you prefer it in the glimmer paper or the ordinary black paper? Thanks for watching and I'll be back with more spooky projects next Friday.